What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video here on Hammers Chat. We've just had, or literally I've just started filming this about an hour after um, the, the draw, we've just had the Europa League draw for the third qualifying round. This is the first qualifying round for West Ham. And we've found out that we'll be facing either we'll be facing one of two teams. So what I've done is I've just sort of pulled together a few facts and a bit of information for any of you who are interested in who we'll be playing or maybe even if some of you are perhaps uh, heading out to any of these countries to see to see the, the away leg. So I'll start off with Shakhtar Solyovsk. These are the Belarus, the team from Belarus. They play in the city of Solyovsk. And I do apologise if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong. I'm doing my best. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing this one right. Anyway, at least it's the uh, the second one I'm going to struggle with. Um, so anyway, Solyovsk is a mining town. The team are actually nicknamed the Moles or the Miners. And the town, to be completely honest, is not very pretty. Um, it's a, as I said, it's a mining town, so you'd probably expect it to be industrial. Um, the how the buildings and the houses sort of remind me a bit of Soviet sort of like Soviet Union area. Um, they're very dark and very intimidating. They sort of just look like big, big chunks of like you know dark grey Lego. Really, it's sort of um, a bit intimidating. They play in the Belarus Premier League division, um, where they finished third, and that's how they qualified for these um, Europa League qualifiers. I couldn't find the name of their ground, um, although I do know it has an exact capacity of 4,200. It's quite a modern looking ground actually, which sort of um, is a bit ironic when you consider what I've just said about the town itself. Um, it's it's maybe small, <laughs> but um, it's got some sort of lovely new sort of yellow seats and the roof on it, or at least on one of the stands, is sort of very modern looking. It sort of looks like something out of a Tim Burton film. So it's sort of quite cool to look at. Um, the last time out, they qualified for Europa League qualifiers last season as well, and they lost in the second qualifying round. The best they've ever achieved is they went out in qualifying round three, which is the round they'll be in if they beat um, the, their opponents to face us. We'll, we'll be facing them in qualifying round three. That, and last time they were at this stage, they got knocked out by Wolfsburg, the well-respected Austrian team. So they're no mugs, they, um, <coughs> as we found out last season, we can't underestimate these types of teams. They've played decent teams like Wolfsberger before, so they'll know exactly what, what they'll need to do to try and get a result. The second team, or the other team we could be facing, is Slovenian team, MK, NK Domzel. And I'm probably pronouncing this wrong just as a sort of just let you know, because there isn't a, a accent above the A in that, in that name. Um, but I'll just say Domzel for... For the sake of it, um, it's probably easiest for me. I have no idea how it's exactly pronounced, so I'll just stick with that. They play in the town of Domzel, and unlike the Belarus towns, uh, Solios, this town is actually very beautiful. Um, I've been on Google and just had a, I had a quick bit, just you know, sort of what's around there. Um, it seems to be sort of placed in sort of un in either hills or mountains, um, and it sort of seems to be you know, there's buildings and then there's sort of trees all sprung up everywhere. It's sort of quite a little, you know quite a beautiful old town really. It's quite um, quite exciting for anyone who will be who might be going there. Uh, they play in the Slovenian Premier League and they finish third as well, just like their their Belarus opponents. So um, that's how they qualified, obviously. They actually have a smaller ground. The ground is called the Domzel Sports Park and has a capacity of two thousand eight hundred and thirteen. So neither of these two have capacities over five thousand. So don't expect maybe any more than a thousand seats to be allocated to us at either ground. Although I do suppose that depends on um, what the home sort of um, capacity is on average as well. Last time out in Europe, they finished in the, they got knocked out in the qualifying round two in Europa League. But they have played in the Champions League qualifiers a few times. So they you know they played some pretty solid teams. So they they should know what to expect from us. And again, we can't really underestimate them. I tried to sort of get a bit of information on the captains for you from both teams, <laughs> but the, uh, there's so little information on them, like they're literally sort of this unheard of. But as I've already said, considering we lost to Berko Carr or whatever they were called last season, we really can't underestimate them. I hope that Billich puts out a strong side that can just get the job done as easy as we can without, you know, maybe risking injury or wearing players out. So maybe it'd be nice to see the likes of Samuelson and Fletcher thrown in there to try and Tony Martinez 
to try and get the job done. So here's just a, a quick bit of information on the dates of the fixtures. Um, we were originally drawn for the home game to happen on the 28th of July and us to go to either Belarus or Slovenia on the 4th of August. However, West Ham have uh, appealed to Europa or UEFA, whoever, you know, I think it's UEFA, um, to have the fixtures swapped. Um, this is because of the retractable seating that slides over the the Olympic Park running track um, actually isn't ready yet. Um, this is because apparently there were some issues with the, the company that builds and sets up the the seats. So we're still waiting for those to be sort of up and running. So hopefully they can switch the fixtures around. Um, but either way, the 28th of July and the 4th of August, the dates to keep in your calendar, especially the 4th of August, so I've got a feeling that we will win the appeal and that that will be the date of our, our home game. It'll be the first, either way, no matter which way it is, it will be our first Europa League game inside the Olympic Stadium. So make sure those dates are free. Um, it will be fantastic to see to see us play, no matter how small these teams, us, these teams are, to see us play um, European football once more. And just another quick message for anyone who's planning to go out to these um, either uh, Belarus or Slovenia, please check the tourist board and do your research before visiting these countries. Uh, we want you, you know, everyone wants all our hammers to have the, the best possible time we can, but at the same time it's important to consider that there are certain aspects of different cultures which are different to ours, you know, to our own. Um, there might be rules and regulations on drinking and gambling and smoking and whatnot. Um, I think when we went to Romania last year, I can remember reading an article about um, their sort of, the Romanian sort of government and the, uh, um, the embassy of, you know, the UK to Romania saying that, you know, they would recommend that homosexuals, for example, don't go out because of it's not really acceptable in Romania. So there are, sadly, you know, every country isn't as, as up to date and modern as our own. So please do your research to make sure that you're 100% safe when you're out in any of these countries. I'm sure the people there are lovely and welcoming as most countries are, but please, and, but please do your research just in case there's any rules like I said on drinking and gambling and whatnot. So just do your research, make sure you're safe and have a good time. And then on top of this, I also would like to encourage you all to behave yourselves. Um, when you're out, when you're abroad, you are representing the club. So it would be nice if we had fun and energetic fans, but fans who are well behaved, which I'm sure anyone who's heading out there will be. Anyway, that's the end of my little Europa League roundup. Gonzo and Gio will be at the kit launch on Saturday, so that's going to be very exciting. And I'm told they're going to have some very, very good footage for you after they've been to that kit launch. So subscribe if you'd like to see that or any other video, but I do really, really, really recommend that you subscribe because I've got a feeling that there will be some fantastic footage coming from Gonzo and Gio this weekend. So please hit that subscribe button. We have a forum going which I'll post a link down below as usual. It's very easy to sign up to and there's always a lot of different topics. Some of them go off course to football, so if you're just there for a general chit chat, there is topics of all sorts of of different ranges from music to football. Um, I think we even had one about pubs before. So please sign up to our forum, subscribe, share the videos, like the videos, and please comment down below. I'd love to hear from anyone who is going out to Slovenia or Belarus, and um, just tell us what your plans are basically, and if you're looking forward to the game.